Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comfort food for the entire family. I am so excited to share tonight's recipe with you. It is a pizza pocket. What kid and kid alike, adults alike, does not love pizza pockets? But they are so incredibly processed, they are so incredibly high in points, that I am recreating your traditional pepperoni and cheese pizza pocket into a WW friendly version. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for tonight's comfort food, just stay tuned. For tonight's comfort food for the entire family, we're making pizza pockets. So let me show you what is in our pizza pockets. You are going to need some self-rising flour. If you do not have self-rising flour, you can use regular flour, just add your leveling agents to it. You're also going to need some non-fat Greek yogurt, some cheese, whether you use light shredded mozzarella, fat-free or any other type of light cheese. You're also going to need some sort of protein. You can use turkey sausage or turkey pepperoni, or you could just do a pizza pocket that's cheese, whatever you prefer. And then I am using the Skinniest Dish Zero Point Crock Pot Marinara so that I am not adding any additional points to my pizza pockets. You can also use jarred marinara. I will be linking this recipe down in the description box below. And then with that, we're gonna have a simple side salad of some baby spring mix along with some of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. Best ranch in the world, two tablespoons, one smart point. I will also be linking this recipe down in the description box below. So let's make these delicious pizza pockets. So the first thing that we need to do to make our pizza pot pocket crust is we're gonna be making two ingredient dough. This recipe makes four pizza pockets. This is one cup of self-rising flour. Now, I never measure out my Greek yogurt when I'm making two ingredient dough, and that's just because I don't want my dough too sticky. So I just kind of add Greek yogurt until my dough is about the right consistency. So I usually start with about a half to one ratio. So if I have one cup of flour, I'm gonna go ahead and start with half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. You're just going to mix this together until your dough is dough consistency. So it's gonna be a little bit crumbly still, but it's not going to have a lot of loose flour. So you wanna make sure that you mix everything together until you have the right dough consistency. Once you get your dough into a nice ball, go ahead and grab some nonstick cooking spray and a rolling pin. A tip is spray your rolling pin with your nonstick cooking spray before you actually roll out your dough. I always roll mine out on parchment paper. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with. So we're gonna roll this out fairly flat. We need to cut this into four equal pieces so that we can prepare our pizza pocket. So you wanna just take your time, get this nice and rolled out. If you need to re-oil your rolling pin, re-oil your rolling pin, but just make sure that you get your dough nice and rolled out nice and flat. It'll cook a lot more even, and you'll be able to actually have a bigger piece of dough for each pizza pocket. Once you roll your dough out, you're gonna take a knife, cut it into four equal sections. And then for each section, you wanna kind of form it into somewhat of a square. You can kind of just roll the edges up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want it to resemble somewhat of a square so that you can add your filling. So we're gonna do one section at a time for our filling. So let's take up our first section here from our parchment paper. We're gonna go ahead and move it aside. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add some of our crock pot marinara. Make sure that you get this nice and stirred together so you're not adding too much of the liquidy part. You're gonna go ahead and add that to the center of your pizza pocket. You wanna make sure that you don't go too close to the edge because we do wanna roll this over. So try to keep it on one side of your pizza pocket. And then we're ready to add our pepperoni and our cheese or whatever toppings you're going to add to your pizza pockets. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add 10 slices of pepperoni. I'm just gonna go, go ahead and add those to the middle here of my pizza pocket, just in kind of a pile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add one ounce 
of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese. You wanna go ahead and measure that out on your food scale. I don't even know that I'm gonna be able to get an entire ounce here on my pizza pocket. Uh, that is about an ounce of cheese. Yeah, we're barely going to get that in there. And then from here, we're going to try to stretch our dough our, the best that we can and roll it over to make our actual pizza pocket. Once you get all your filling in, go ahead and roll your dough over until it forms your pizza pocket. So that's what it's going to look like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other three and we'll get these into our air fryer. Now, if you do not have an air fryer, you can always cook your pizza pocket in the oven, but I am going to pop mine into the air fryer. So let's get the other three made up and I'll show you exactly the last step before they go into the air fryer. <laughs> before you put your pizza pockets into the air fryer. You're gonna go ahead and coat them with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. That's just going to help them brown a little bit better. And there you have it. They are not the prettiest. I should have probably rolled the dough out even a little bit thinner, but I'm gonna pop these into the air fryer and let's see what our finished product looks like. The pizza pockets are in the air fryer. I have the power of an elite, which is more like an oven versus the drawer air fryer. This is linked down in my Amazon store in the description box below. A lot of you ask me about my air fryer. I freaking love it. You can do rotisserie chickens and everything in this air fryer. It's pretty awesome. So these are in there at 375 for about 15 minutes. And I will be back to show you the completed pizza pockets and exactly what we're having for dinner. So here are the completed pizza pockets. They actually look absolutely delicious. So they did pop open. This one popped open really bad, but that actually looks really good. So just be careful when you're rolling out your dough not to have any holes, but this one is pristine. So I'm gonna plate this up and then I will show you my completed dinner as well as give you the smart point. So here is my completed dinner. There is my pizza pocket as well as just some spring greens with two tablespoons of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, which is one smart point. And then my pizza pocket here is three smart points for the flour and Greek yogurt to make the two ingredient dough. One smart point of cheese and one smart point of pepperoni, zero for the sauce. So it is a total of five smart points. That's it, you guys five smart points for a pizza pocket. And this, my friends, is a five smart point comfort food for the entire family. Thank you for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family. I hope you enjoyed seeing the amazing pizza pocket recipe. You guys, it was so good. My husband said it was better than your traditional hot pocket or lean pocket and less than half the point. So nothing can be better than pizza for comfort food. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and join my YouTube friends and family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will get a notification each and every time I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know if you're gonna try tonight's pizza pocket comfort food recipe for the entire family. And of course, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.